morning, viewers. Uh, this is Jenny Foronda, the Head of Marketing and Business Development of Remote Tax from Australia and Philippines. Welcome to our Remote Learning Summit. Okay. Um, thank you so much for joining to, uh, today. Um, let me quickly introduce our two uh, lovely speakers. We have uh, Ms. Jasmine uh, Cipriano, owner of Instant Twitter Batangas. Uh, she is a mompreneur, enjoys being with her only child while working at home, okay, so she's a mom, and holds a degree in secondary education, major in English, and studied at MA in Language and Literature in De La Salle University, Manila. And my, my other guest is uh, Ms. Marie Shane Rasqueta, owner of Instant Reader Bacoor City, a graduate of psychology from De La Salle University, Desmarinas, with more than 10 years of experience in um, HR or human resources management field. She gained most of her experience in Gulf region, handling the whole HR strategic and operations. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome our two lovely ladies, two lovely guests from Instant Readers, Ms. Shane and Ms. Jasmine. Hello po, magandang umaga. Good morning. Good morning. All right. So yeah. So tell me more and uh, tell me more about your your journey, um, Mami Justin and uh, teacher um, teacher Sh uh, Shane. Um, how do you start this kind of uh, business, which is um, providing um, providing the services to our to our um, to the kids on how they can read effectively. All right. Si Mami Justin muna. Si Mami Justin muna. Si Teacher Jas muna siguro. Yeah. Si Teacher yeah. Justin muna po. All right. So we're very lucky because this instant reader was shared with us by Shane. Yeah. So she's the one who introduced <laughs> instant reader. So that was 2016. Okay. And then we franchised it 20. 2020 all right so as a mom and as a teacher so i fell in love with the program so this is really beneficial to the children and most especially to parents out there who would really want to teach their children how to read so and the rest will be history so the, I know, that was uh, last year uh teacher jasmine 2020 so it was it was uh introduced to us by shane 2016 and then we franchised 2018 and then we finally set up everything 2020. Nice. <laughs> Very nice. And how about you uh teacher chain? Kamusta ang journey mo with instant reader? Bago ka mag with instant reader, yeah, when I came back um in the Philippines that was in 2016, um I was looking for um a reading program for my son. Kasi hindi pa siya nakakabasa. So, I, I was looking for an instant uh, program. So, where where uh, my child will be able to read um, the fastest. So, yun, uh, I enrolled him in the instant reader, Das Marinas. And I was really amazed of, uh, about the results. And he was able to read on the third day. Then, uh, since then, yun nga, um, I... Uh, Natuwa ako sa resulta and then the advocacy of, of um, the instant reader and then uh, since I was looking for um, a small business to to venture, ayun po, no, the next thing mula and I met um, the founder and developer and then I re, uh, I loved na agad yung, yung the way they handle the business. So yun, that's, that's how I started with instant reader and because um, it was like a long dream for me to have a, a small kindergarten or a nursery for a business. So yeah, the next start yung yung venture ko sa instant reader. So that's good. So, yeah. that's good. ko na siya kalapit kala ano ati just. Teacher Shane, um, ano yun? Because you know you transition as a um handling HR and then um you know handling this kind of business. Uh, ano yung mga experiences mo? sa um, HR na na-apply mo ngayon? Okay. Um, um, because I... My, 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 um, my work was in operation. So what... Uh, I used it in terms of the human resource development dun sa mga staff. So how I handle them and, and then um, 
since I have also experience in the education sector, because I was a project coordinator for an NGO for a short period of time in the Middle East. So I got an idea how uh, education sector works in the Middle East. And then um, also, yung, yung kid ko kasi, um, he studied in, in uh, Middle East. So I saw yung transition nila from um, early childhood to like non-reader to reader and then um, how how they manifest uh, this this um, skills muna yon yon so um, I I I ensure that um, my staff is actually well um, taken care of um, mm -hmm. yon nagagamit ko in, in terms of um, handling people then coordinating it with with parents uh, and as a parent myself kasi ang ang gusto ko kasi kung ano yung uh, whatever services I would like from a center I will be giving to the clients the parents yeah. that I'm handling so yun yeah kasi lang. na ano mo na siya na try mo na na experience mo na so kung bago mas madali na siyang ibenta di ba yes, yes, okay yes, yes. so we'll start our ano yung interview na talaga <laughs> <laughs> all right and before we um we continue to all our viewers if you're watching right now kindly comment where are you watching from and um can you use our official hashtag which is remote learning summit so if you do have free materials or if you want to receive um a digital certificate while participating to this summit feel free to comment um remote learning summit Okay, so after the summit, uh, you can you can um, DM us or email us so we can send you the uh, the digital certificate. Okay, so yeah, so what are the factors, uh, teachers, that do you think affects the child's ability to read effectively? Because it's very concerning for parents if uh, you know if um kid nila medyo na delay sa pagbabasa. So Ano sa tingin niyo mga factors na can affect yung child's ability to read? Teacher Jazz, <laughs> ikaw muna. Um, I, think I, can, uh, I think I can answer that, uh, Ma'am Jen. Yeah. So, okay. um, a child's, uh, uh, so I think yun, yun nga, uh, I, I think I can answer that. So, a child's ability to read can be affected of, uh, by many factors po kasi uh, it includes their background knowledge, ability, home environment, school experiences, mm -hmm. and interest level. But um, when we're talking about the reading performance, it will uh, be mostly directly linked to a child's success with five uh, important factors according to the National Reading Panel. It started po in 1997. Uh, the U.S. Congress asked the National Institute of Child Health and Human Development along with the United States Department of Education to form a National Reading Panel. So, ano po ba yung task ng National Reading Panel? They uh, research, they review the research on how children learn to read and determine the methods of teaching reading the most effective way. So, the results of that research were their basis for their um, no child left behind policy. So, from that, according to the National Reading Panel, as I've mentioned, my five fundamental factors po tayo to consider. Um, of reading instruction. So there are phonemic awareness, uh, phonics, reading fluency, vocabulary, and reading comprehension. So um, I will try to really explain it as short as possible and as clear as possible. So I will mm -hmm. start po with the phonemic awareness. Because this is the basic skill po that the parents should teach first po uh, in reading. So yung phonemic awareness po is, in short, becoming aware of the sounds of the language. So ito po, uh, they, uh, the word uh, is from phoneme, which is the smallest sound uh, that differentiates uh, a, a word for another. So uh, ano po, uh, there are two con uh, concepts uh, under the phonemic awareness. So this is the ability po of the child to distinguish or separate the sound, the, uh, the words into sounds. And then the ability to blend them to get together. Ito po yung important factors for phonemic awareness. So, bakit po dapat ang first level or first skill na tinuturo po sa bata in terms of reading is phonemic awareness? Kasi po, students with strong phonemic awareness are better um, prepared to sound out words. And then, in return, they are more proficient and uh, fluent readers in the future. 
So mm. the next one is phonics. So yung phonics po, uh, the International Reading Association actually describes phonics uh, phonics as an important aspect of beginning reading instruction. But um, it helps children learn to differentiate naman yung relationship between the letters of written language and the sounds of a spoken language. So kung uh, ma'am, ano natin, uh, sasabihin natin yung mas madaling uh, definition ng uh, phonics, this is the principle of using letters to represent sounds. So that is the second skill. The third skill, as I've mentioned, is the reading fluency. Mm -hmm. So we said, um, yung phonics po is an important uh, factor in developing fluency. But it does not make our children uh, fluent readers. So kailangan mm -hmm. po sa so fluent reading, because um, it's a complex skill po eh. So phonics, mm -hmm. phonics instruction is one of the basic skills. The yeah. other one is the phonemic awareness. So, mm. in reading fluency, the speed of blending sounds to form yeah. words is focused on. So, you mm -hmm. can third. So, the fourth one is the vocabulary na tayo. So, yung vocabulary involves uh, gaining meaning from words while reading. Mm -hmm. Essentially, uh, yung student po natin really cannot comprehend or construct meaning from a text without yeah. understanding the words within the passage po, di ba? So, mm -hmm. yung if a child with strong vocabulary, um, they will be able to read more fluently and with mm -hmm. more purpose. So yung vocab po tayo. And the last, on the other hand, is reading comprehension. So it differs from uh, vocabulary kasi yung reading comprehension naman po, it involves constructing the meaning from what is being read. So mm -hmm. reading will not have a purpose po kasi if the child is not able to really understand uh, the, what is uh, his reading. Tapos yeah. po, ito, uh, the last skill, which is reading comprehension. Good comprehension requires strong ability in all four of the other fundamental uh, factors that I yeah. mentioned earlier. So, kailangan po kompleto yun. So, based on that research, the understanding and nurturing those five factors, the child will be successful in reading. And based on that research, I'm really happy to say that the Instant Reader Program was developed around those five factors. That is why yeah. our program was proven effective since its launch uh, 17 yeah. years ago. So, yeah. So, we have Teacher Shane, may, may, I have a follow-up question. Ano yung yeah. ideal age na pwede nang uh, turuan ng bata mag, uh, magbasa? Anong ideal so, uh, age the, the ideal age po talaga should start in the kindergarten before they they, they start po sa, per, sa grade 1. Mm -hmm. So, the ideal age is from 4 to 6 years old. Pero meron na po kami napapabasa na younger than 4 years old. 3 years old we have, we have already. Yeah. So, yeah. as early as 4 years old or 3 and a half, they can already teach their kids to read po. So, yeah. So, yeah. as so, much as possible, the reason why we're doing this... Um, Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes. So, yeah, because we've been talking to a lot of, of parents nga po, no, during assessment or during orientation. And then there was a time that a mom cried during my aura or assessment because yes. she was she was able to say that instant reader gave hope to her. Mm -hmm. So we, I, I was I was also I was in cloud nine when a mom told that that yes. we, we we offered hope to, to, to her because for two years her son was able to have this this uh, privilege of being tutored for two years mm -hmm. po yon, okay? And uh, she paid for this and that, but her her son was still not able to to read, okay? So I was also in shock that how come how come they didn't go for any other for other alternative or other other help? So I was just so happy when when parents would say that in instant reader we give hope to parents. Because yeah, there yeah. are times that they also they just want to have somebody that they would share their thoughts or sentiments Definitely. or problems. Yeah, the good yeah. thing is we're here. The, the yeah, instant yeah. leader is here. <laughs> yeah. So 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 a uh, very well said, uh, teacher Jasmine. Thank you so much for that input. Okay. Um, ano naman yung mga tips that you can give to parents to encourage their children to read more? 
Do you have any yeah. tips? Na, yeah. Para at least, di ba, tayo nga eh, di ba minsan pag matanda ka na, <laughs> gusto ko magbasa pero wala kang tayo magbasa. Pero, <laughs> pero mga bata, as much as possible, you need to read. Is that your interest? Minsan ganun eh, is it walang time or walang interest? Something like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so, I will be answering that question. No, so, I would always say na yung 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 lens ko kasi to to answer some some questions is that I am a mom and a teacher at the same time. So I always uh, search for top tips on how to encourage children how to read. So what I'm going to be sharing right now is because is, is coming from my favorite book author. So Louis Bagelman, uh, executive director fusion ng Story Share. You can just you can Google her and you will you will be amazed on her contribution when it comes to 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 reading okay so yung first one naman na i-share ko po is is if your child is just starting how to read okay so first is uh, read it again and again okay so ako po as a mom na nag-start kami kay Brigid okay with my with my daughter maybe po a week after she was born we started reading to her Okay? It could be it could be a joke, but it's true, no? So, kasi po when when we read to them, okay, regardless of time, actually, nag-read ko na po yata sa kanya yung um, book na Guess How Much I Love You for for a hundred times and counting. Okay. Wow. So, yes, yes. So when we read to them all over and over again, so that can actually then help build confidence for our kids who learn and think differently. So so that book, actually I have that book and this is really so sentimental to to me, okay? So this is very handy. Nakita niyo po ba? So, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I was able to read this to her 100 times and still counting. And it is such a fascinating experience kasi po she's two and a half years old na and she knows the character. She knows what to say. She can tell a bit of information about about the mommy bear and about the baby bear. So just read the book again and again. Okay. Mm -hmm. and then the second one, uh, the second one will be connect to uh, what our child reads with what is happening in real life. Okay. Say for example, po, if we are if we are reading to our child um the story Little Red Riding Hood, we can actually po ask questions on all right so what is the importance of not talking to strangers so mm -hmm. this kind of thing this kind of question is actually similar to what the kids experience in the story so so with that nakaka-relate sila and we are making the reading real okay yeah also po, we can actually have a follow-up activity say for example naman where we're uh reading goldilocks okay so as experience we can ask our child to lay down or sleep in a hard bed in, and a soft bed. Kasi di ba, that was Goldilocks did in the bear's house. So, okay, you can invite her to lay down on a soft bed and hard bed. So in here, your child is also po experiencing okay, the character's action to in the story. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So cute, di ba? Cute siya. Yeah, and very is, interesting. Yes, yeah. So, and uh, the third one is actually don't leave or your home or your house without something to read okay as parents okay say for example without covid po ano yun yung yun yung scenario natin that we have pediatrician appointment we have doctor's appointment we have dentist appointment and so on so just always carry a mini book okay a kid friendly book or magazine anytime you know that your child will have to wait kasi po this would work wonders okay we just we will be amazed on how this could save could save us from their tantrums, okay? Yeah, yeah. Ganun talaga, kailangan ready tayo when it comes to making them occupied. So, yeah. And then the next one, dig deeper into the story. When we say dig deeper, we can always ask thought-provoking questions or target their emotions, especially when it comes to experience from the book and to real life. Say, for example, uh, okay, uh, I'll be using again the story of Goldilocks, okay? We can ask our child, why did the bear cry when, when she saw that that her her chair was broken? Kasi nasira yung chair ba ng baby bear, di ba? Would you also cry like him or like her if you see your toys get broken by your playmate? 
So in here, our child again is having a different kind of of thinking. Okay. Yeah. What would yeah? What would I feel nga naman? What would I do if that if that happened to me? Yeah. Yeah. And then really nice. opo, opo. Then the fifth one is take your time. Okay? Take your time, especially po dun sa mga early readers, no? Take your time to read kasi po uh, as parents, we know the ability of our children. Okay? So if early readers sila, still they don't know how to read yet. Okay? So take your time when your child is sounding out an unfamiliar word. Leave plenty of time to do it and praise the effort. We should yeah. treat mistakes as an opportunity for improvement. Say for example, yeah. yes. Say for example, uh, if our child can only read two sound words like am, an, to, of, then we should not push them to read magnificent, rendezvous, heavenly, or wonderful. So take our time Ooh. and whenever they, yes, whenever they commit mistakes, okay, let's try, let's try to compose ourselves, know that still there is something to celebrate on because our child is Motivate. doing the effort, di ba po? exerting an effort to, to read. So just take our time. I know yes. it, it this really requires a lot of patience, but but uh, our target is to make reading enjoyable to them. And this is not a punishment. And reading should not be a traumatic experience. Yeah. Okay. That's then, right. Yes. The next one po is, uh, I think you also mentioned this, Kanina. is about the interest of the child. Yo. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. po, important, important din yun. So, we need to pick books at the right level for our children. So, If I am talking about the early readers, say for example, at the age of one or two, they could just start with picture book, okay? So this, the picture book nowadays, my God, bonggang bonggang na siya. I don't have this. I was not able to have this kind of, of privilege during our time. Di ba? Sayo sa nga yun. Hardbound pa sila, no? Hardbound yes. pa. I was, oh, lucky. I was telling my mom. Ang ganda mga illustrations, di ba? Yes. I was yeah. telling my mom, I think the only book that she bought for me was the Abacada. <laughs> yes, to be honest. And then the rest would be from the from, from my school. So see how privileged our children nowadays. So I'll just be sharing. So if our children are only, yeah. say for example, two or three years old, so they can just have with touch and feel book, just like this. Wow. Okay. So with this touch they can feel book. Yes, touch and feel book. So they can touch and feel. So this could be addition to their vocab. So they would know. Oh, mm -hmm. so this is what we mean by soft and that this is hard, something like that. So even though this is only a touch and feel book, this could be their interest. It, according to their level, two, three years old pa lang sila. So they don't know how to read yet, but they can feel, they can describe, and they are fascinated with the colors. And, and it's, it's really going to be uh, good for uh, no, a stimulation rin ng brain. Yes, diba? yes, yes. Especially for, of course, younger children. So start with our with our uh, child's interest or ability. Then, say, for example, we started from picture books. Then we can move on to two-liner page story with pictures mm -hmm. and so on. So gradually, okay, once we know our child's ability and we know their interest, so... This could be enjoyable to them, okay? And then yeah. I don't know if this would be my last uh, tip. Okay, let your child let your child choose. Okay, yeah, this is the last one. So let your child choose because this they would feel that they have authority in the way by just picking up the picking the or choosing the the content or the kind of book. It could be nonfiction. It could be fiction. It could be fantasy. Uh, graphic novels, okay? I think that's my phone call. Yeah. <laughs> so, that's it po on uh, Mami, no? So, <laughs> nawala ako. <laughs> <laughs> okay lang yun, okay lang. Okay, to all our viewers, it was a very great tip, ano, napakaganda na mga tips ni Mami, ni, uh, ni Teacher Jazz. To all our viewers who's watching right now, if uh, you have any questions, feel free to comment your question in our comment section. And um, 
if you want to receive our uh, digital certificate, um, kindly comment remote learning summit. So um, after this uh, summit, we will send you your digital certificate for participating. Do you want to add, teacher? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I will just yeah. add, add something yeah. on, on the last yeah. one I shared. Uh, um, Shane. Teacher Jenny, I'll before, just before add something to the last okay. one I shared. Can I? Yeah. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so this is about uh, letting your child choose, okay, the books that he or she will be reading. Because from, from the authority that you would have, okay, the important thing is to practice reading no matter where or how it happens. Okay, so with this, meron siyang feel na authority and he has a little engagement or a little effort upon choosing, choosing the book that he would want to read. So those yeah. are just seven top tips. Thank you, thank you. Do you want to add a uh, teacher, uh, teacher Shane? Um, so si nabi ni ano? Ang dami yeah. niya. Merong seven tips si teacher just na kakatuwa na ba? So I think ano um I will add on the first tip then and then the the interest. The first tip po, uh, tama po yon. It it really for me I believe also na um as early as a newborn baby parents should uh and can really uh, read to them uh, kasi nga po, as they grow kasi ano yun, um in regards to the children uh, understanding and uh, and knowing the literacy doon nagsa-start po eh, yung print yung uh, uh, printed material so doon po habang ang mga magulang they read to their kids and children are uh, faced with uh, books and printed materials this is the first stage of for them to really understand literacy and reading printed materials po kasi ang first stage po so it's it's really a good routine for parents to start reading to their uh, kids as early as a newborn child so yeah maganda po yan and then uh, since it's uh, consistent and routinary uh, ma, 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 ma acquire ng bata yung yung reading and interest kasi uh, May mga magulang po kasi talaga na hindi mahilig magbasa eh. Parang ako, ang hilig, ang dami kong libro. And then, ang nangyayari ngayon namin mag-ina before we we, uh, we we go to sleep, nag-isa kami libro. So, I'm I'm reading and, and my child is also reading. So, maganda rin pong practice yun. Parang bonding na yun eh. So, mangy mangyayari yun kay, ano, kay Brigid and kay Teacher yes. Jack in the future. Uh -oh. yes. And then, I really agree, Mami, yung sinabi mo, Teacher Jazz, um, about the interest, yung sinabi niya po, uh, Ma'am uh, Ma Jen, um, yung bata po, like like my child po, when he was able to read na, ang kauna-unahan niyang hiningi sa aking book is uh, Encyclopedia of Dinosaurs. So, um, I was shocked and surprised kasi dinosaurs na eh, but um, after a few weeks po, he was able to read na yung, ano, yung um, kinds of dinosaurs. Uh, difficulty. Yes, yes. Hindi ko naman po sinasabi na yung mga early readers should have the same uh, level of books po. What I'm trying to say is um, it really depends on your kid's reading ability. So if um, they are able to read that and they are really interested on that book po and, and you have the budget, then buy it for them. Kasi dun po ma-enhance yung interest nila sa reading. Kasi gusto nilang mabasa eh. Or, yeah. or the kid would love to to read a story about Disney princesses, di ba? May mga ganong libro na po sa nakinig. At saka, super, so, super po, lucky na ng generation inside. ngayon, Teacher Chain, eh, because you can, yes, you, you know, you yes. can buy it oh, sa mga so book sale, you can buy it na yung mga second-hand na books online. Sobrang yes. kami na na pwede mong, ano eh, mga, before, super expensive talaga na ng mga books, di ba? Especially mm -hmm. yung mga brand. Opo. Or new release books. Pero yeah. ngayon, kung hindi ka mm -hmm. naman, ano, you can go to, second hand na na shop na, that you can yeah, buy yeah. some books di ba and materials for your kids and, okay um, yeah and yeah, so yeah, um with, 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 with our, with our topic yeah with our topic today is very interesting kasi nga yung effective ways to make reading enjoyable enjoyable for kids so kumbaga that's the reason why i invite two lovely ladies here para i-share yung kanilang expertise kung paano makatulong sa ating mga anak para mas mabilis yung kanilang progress sa pagbabasa. Okay, so um, my next question is um, how we can uh, 
make reading enjoyable for the children. Yes. Yeah, so I'm like, sure yeah, maraming mga parents ngayon na gustong, kasi learning should be like that. Di ba? Yeah. Do you agree, Teacher Jess and Teacher Shane? Um, yes, yes. Kasi yes, reading yes. should be enjoyable naman talaga. Yung, yung mga interests mo, mas masaya kung yun ang, yung interests mo, yun ang pinag-aaralan mo. Mm-hmm. Yes, oh, yes. Kasi kung maga, yung, yung, you're really mm-hmm. aligned with your purpose when you do that. Mm-hmm. And if your interest reading, diba, yung sabi, sabi mo nga, interesado yung anak mo sa dinosaur, kung maga, yung interest nila because they love that character or they love that, you know, <laughs> that, um, that particular creature. Kaya interesado sila. So mas maganda na, yes, yes. you know, as part of it, talagang maging maganda yung journey nila sa learning na maging enjoyable ito. Hindi yung tipong napapwersa sila, oh, basahin mo yan, magbasa ka, oh, ito dapat nakomplete mo to mabasa mo tong libro na to sa dalawang araw, ganun. Yes, so, hindi, di ba? So, and yes. dapat mga gantong edad, marami ka ng vocabulary na alam. Yes. So, yeah, we need to respect our children. With this journey na um, nag-start ako mag-work for um, remote classroom, that's what I really appreciate a lot mm-hmm. because I it's a great opportunity for me to speak or to, you know, to interview people like two, two lovely ladies, which is Teacher Jess and Teacher Jasmine and, and Teacher uh, Vicky and all other uh, homeschooling parents uh, sharing the same, you know, passion and how they can teach their children. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And sharing our passion to share this to children mm-hmm. and making education or making learning more enjoyable. Okay. Mm-hmm. Sa, sa aking tanong ha, kanina, how can we make reading enjoyable for the children? Yeah, so I would I would uh, answer that question, uh, Mom Jen. But before that, ang ganda po nung sinabi niyo that this hub or itong summit natin is very helpful to parents out there. Kasi we are all moms and parents, so talagang we totally relate to each other. O, sige, makikinig ako dito. O, kasi sige, gagawin ko yan. So that's why very thankful po kami for 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 that. So the question is, how can we make reading enjoyable for, for the children? Especially nowadays that we are competing okay, towards uh, social media, towards gadgets, YouTube, and, and everything. So as a mom, I've been uh, incorporating a lot of tips from other parents as well. Yeah, si, si Teacher Shane, she has been sharing then top tips when it comes to making reading enjoyable. Kasi she's been a parent for nine years now, so medyo, ano yan, medyo advanced yan when it comes to all this kind of... of um, uh, when it comes to reading or teaching. Ano po? So I believe po, like what we've said, I think na mentioned na natin to, no, several times, that reading should really be fun and memorable. So once the child established the habit of reading, his joys would show from the spark of his eye. So start by giving him a choice of what to read. So we said that na kanina. Ano po? So giving him a choice of what to read so he can have different options all or or um, alternative. So, give your child some control back by letting him or select the books he or she wants to read. Okay? Kasi nga, nandito yung freedom and nandito yung authority. So, next one is, um, uh, kasi po, there are some uh, articulate uh, children, okay? They would say, can I choose a comic book? Can I choose uh, a cookbook? Well, of course, still those fun books still count. Kasi reading pa din, mapapractice pa din yung pagbabasa nila. So get your kids reading a variety of materials such as graphic novels, cookbook, joke books, pack books, magazines, yung mga, yung mga hindi lang puro printed text. Kasi still counted pa rin to. Our child will be able to read. And not only that, dun sa mga joke books, oftentimes they would have rhyming words. Oftentimes, they would have onomatopoeia. Yung mga comic books, di ba? May mga ganun. So still, they are exposed to reading, okay? As long as, of course, we screened this kind of, this kind of, of genre. So every little bit of reading helps. May mga ganun eh, di ba? So you will say, talaga, mommy, I can read. 
uh, you're telling me to read, ha? but can I read joke books? Of course, because that is still reading. And this that would add po, that would add then sa, sa pagiging wit or witty ng mga bata. Okay? Yeah. So it should be fun and enjoyable. So yeah. uh, I've mentioned na kanina, read aloud to them. So kasi po, from, from just hearing the words, hearing the sounds, okay, apart from that, our children will be able then to see our mouth cavity, okay? Especially sa younger kids, no? The way we open our mouth, the way we say, or, or... And mm, pronounce it. Yes. Diba? yes. So that, yeah. is, that is very, that is very important, yung reading aloud. So, parents, let, let us, let us focus. Ay, it would just, ano, it would just, uh... Uh, make me tired because I've been reading, say, for example, 10-page book. But no, okay? There are still other mm-hmm. other benefits upon reading it. So that is, orally, they would they would uh, see, okay, how we produce the sound. And magagaya yun ng bata. Okay? Mm-hmm. Then mm-hmm. also, it is also nice to create a cozy reading space. This doesn't need to be expensive, Okay? Especially mm-hmm. nowadays, we can Google, we can YouTube everything. So there are lots of ideas on Pinterest on how to have or save money in creating cozy reading space. So one, one, actually, we have a favorite na cozy reading uh, space. At Teacher Jazz, the environment also affects the learning ability of the child. Yes, yes. yes. Um, that, yeah, that is yeah. true. Do you agree? If yeah. they don't have that particular space, Yes. Um, especially if we're into um, distance learning or online learning. If they don't mm-hmm. have that uh, particular space that they can read or, or they can study, parang mas ano yun eh, it will um, affect their ability to, you know, to read more yeah, yeah. or making reading enjoyable, di ba? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Apo, that is true. But of course, as parents, we should find ways. Say, for example, they can just adjust the timing. Or when am I going to to use the laundry to, to use the washing machine? Because if they don't, let's for example, they don't have space at home, no. And then their washing machine is working, and then it creates that irritating sound. So they can always adjust the 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 household uh, the household the entire the entire household and also po, dito naman sa cozy reading space it doesn't need to be expensive because they can even read under the table and then mm. just have a flashlight on it okay mm. they can improvise a tent okay and uh, have a flashlight on it okay having a book with you so that could that could also po, build up good relationship of the child and the and the parent okay so you don't need anything fancy so just put few pillows and then a, a flashlight so it would create wonders so this cozy space would help okay would actually put set the set the atmosphere okay mm-hmm. and then the last one is about listening to audio books okay especially whenever they are inside the car i love that i love yeah. that I love, you know my mom um we're very lucky that she actually invested on that. Mm-mm. That, you know, yung audio book na yung uh, sasabayan mo kung ano yung ano. Yes, yes po. Di, di, po, di ba nung time natin sobrang mahal mo? Lip frog ba yan? I don't, I don't have Oo, this. Oo, ang mahal nun eh. Oh, Tapos merong set ng encyclopedia. Sobrang yes. mahal nun. Alam ko, yeah. napakamahal ng mga materials before. Mm-hmm. Pero, you know, yung I'm so grateful with my parents na Na you have that, <laughs> yeah. You have the privilege, yeah. of teacher Jenny. Okay. Yeah. So just to add a little bit more, so I hope that parents would actually uh, research on Michael Rosen. He's actually a UK uh, UK author, like children's book author. Siya. The name mm-hmm. is Michael Rosen, and yeah. just Google or watch his uh, watch um him in YouTube and search for the chocolate cake. Okay. My lord. So up until now, I'm still giggling whenever I watch and listen to his to his uh poetry. Kasi ang ganda. So makaka-relate yung bata kasi nga po pang bata it's about chocolate cake and even so audiobooks available to. So this is about humor, about uh wordplay and there is mm-hmm. really so much when you read. Uh, yeah, when you when somebody is re- reading it uh out loud so we can listen. And at the same time, enjoying it while we're just sitting. So that's yes. that's naman the benefit of of audio books. 
So I thank hope you, our you. parents out there would get a bit of pieces from what I've shared. Thank you, Teacher Jasmine. Thank you, thank you for sharing that. And yeah, um, before we, you know, before we end our session, um, I'm sure that you already prepared some of, you know, some of your programs that you can share to our viewers. And um, just a reminder to all our viewers, uh, if you're watching this um, via live, kindly comment uh, watching live, or if you're watching this on replay, please comment hashtag replay. And don't forget to use our official hashtag for this summit, which is remote learning summit. Um, so we can send you our digital certificate um, participating in this event. Okay, so can you tell us your program for, um, for instant readers? Uh, and um, you can, you know, share your screen para makita naman ng ating mga viewers yung Shane, inyo. Shane, you'll do that po, uh, Mom Jenny. Si Shane. Okay. Teacher Shane, can you share your screen po para makita ng mga viewers yung mga programs natin sa instant readers? Okay. Before we, we share po the different services and programs that the Instant Reader uh, offers, I would like to share po a short video of, of uh, parents that uh, would vouch for the effectivity of the Instant Reader program. So uh, I hope po it, this will help uh, parents po to see um, how Instant Reader, uh, Instant Reader can help them uh, with their struggling readers. Hold on po. Kita na po? Yes, yeah. yeah. I'll just play it. Uh, we would like to thank lang po yung Instant Reader Kapoor for welcoming Ali since uh, three years old, uh, four years old siya na nag-start. Kapoor na lang yun. Um, yes, before, sir. no? Yeah. Uh, uh, very noticeable yung uh, pag- before, um, nandun kita may effort eh. Nagsustutter siya. Kasi hindi niya ma... hindi siya familiar with the sounds. Mm -hmm. So, eventually, uh, it starts with uh, instant reader. Uh, step by step. Eventually, nagkaroon ng nag-develop. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, now, maybe well adept na and uh, wala, he can read on his own. Yeah. Yung interest talaga sa reading. Yes. And uh, yan ang developed yung interest niya. Mm. So without asking him to read, actually he reads on his own. Mm. So even yung the simplest things, even as simple as a logo. Signage. Signages. Lahat uh, um, ng words dito sa baka sa house. Even yung mga <laughs> sapak sheet ng periodical eh. <laughs> so to start, uh, we've been looking for a way for Bianca to learn how to read as early as five years old. Uh, we looked around, so we searched over the internet, and we found out about the Instant Reader program. So the caption is, read in 20 days. One of the examples na, na fascinate kami dun sa program is, when we, we, we were watching Netflix, tapos may mga subtitles. All of a sudden, she started reading all of those sa screen. So, we were really amazed kasi imagine wa watching a foreign movie, tapos reading in English, and then yung speed ng movie and how in dialogue is coming between yung mga characters sa movie, she was able to read it like in front of me, like real time. Kaya very happy kami and uh, sulit yung, yung, yung program. Napaka galing. As in, ang galing ng ano nyo, approach nyo, kahit online siya. Nakikita mo yung mabasa ng anak mo, yung three-letter word. Talagang, ano siya eh, uh, you feel fulfilled para doon. Parang, ay, naku, nalalong parang mas magandang panalo yun kaysa sa loto yan. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> Di ba? Tapos, but more yung talagang alam niya, yung, yung alam mo yun, yung step by step, how to read a word. Hindi niya dahil lang sa nabasa lang niya to, dahil familiar sa sa word. Hindi yun eh. As in, talagang naturo sa kanya lahat-lahat per, ano yun, per step, per word, 
per syllables, lahat siya. Ano, talagang perfect. Para sa akin, perfect ka. Kung may score nga lang, ma teacher, baka 110 ang ibigay. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. Congrats, teacher, John. Actually, ngayon nga, pinag-uusapan namin ng asamo ko. Sabi ko, alam mo, dad, sabi kong ganun. Kung iisipin mo, no, hindi mo pala talaga maiisip yung worth ng binabayad mo once na nakita mo yung yung naging uh, resulta kay Summer. Parang, Actually, kulang pa nga yun. Dahil nga, by the, by, yung matuto yung anak mo ng ganong kabilis, ng isa, ilang days lang na nakakabasa ng four-letter word, masyado pa siyang mura para dun. Kasi ang hirap talagang turo. <laughs> ang hirap magturo sa totoo lang. Yung matanda nga, ang hirap ng turo. Ano at more pa itong bata? Yeah. Wow. Nakaka-inspire yeah, naman yun. Nakaka-inspire naman yun. <laughs> yeah, nakakabilis po ng tibok ng puso talaga nung talaga narinig namin po siya sa parents uh, who enrolled their children in infant care. So, yes. yan po, I'll be sharing po the services um, of uh, infant care. So, talking about um, teaching reading po to, to our kids, to our um, children, um, it, it's really important po muna to, to show this uh, clips to you po kasi uh, instant reader has been um, an advocacy, uh, advocacy po talaga ng instant reader is to really uh, help children to read the fastest and most effective way. And we've been trying to help uh, the education sector and, and the parents po to really achieve that. But what is happening right now sa ating uh, uh, bansa, we don't have to really look elsewhere, elsewhere na ang mga bata po ngayon it's really suffering uh, in terms of um, learning the art of reading at a very slow pace for mom Jen, because of the school system. Po. Um, I'm not sure if you have heard it last year, po, uh, Filipino students falling behind in reading and reading comprehension uh, from 79 countries. Um, ang ilan po, sa tingin niyo, Ma'am Jen, ang Philippines po, from 79 countries in South Africa. Uh, Ano naman, hindi tayo pang Paano 70. Paano tayo nag-fall? Oh, pang no. 70 ba tayo? Mom, oh, no. uh, Mommy Jenny, we, we landed are, last. We are, oh my gosh. <laughs> we landed last. 79th out of 79. So it's really oh, alarming, sad. but not surprising. Sa totoo lang po. And uh, just recently, uh, in terms of reading and reading comprehension, tas dito naman po, sa math and science proficiency, Filipino grade 4 students, we fall... Uh, again, worse in math. So, 58 countries po, naungusan po tayo ng mga non-English-speaking -spe uh, countries like Indonesia and Malaysia. So, it's really alarming po. But, um, like I've mentioned po, we realized this problem and came up with an innovative solution 17 years ago. Uh, the instant reader uh, advocate that uh, like kanina po yung tanong niyo po no we do not have to teach the alphabet first to our kids po when we're teaching reading because kanina na explain to teaching the alphabet first slows down the process of reading so yun po so be because of the uh, the advocacy of instant reader we uh, our mission is to teach the world to read and speak in english the fastest and most effective way um, it, it's really important to say that Instant Reader is the only research-based program in the Philippines developed by uh, Teacher Vicky. Uh, are you there? Kami lang po yung nagsasabi na we can really teach your children how to read in just 20 days. And because of um, the alarming and saddening fact that the Philippines is, uh, again, the 79th position po sa reading comprehension, uh, our vision is to reach the widest number of kids po possible and expose them to the benefits of being able to read and understand what they are reading. Hindi lang po sila makabasa, but they really have to comprehend what they are reading. So yeah, so let's, let's go through our services and programs. So as we are mentioning already, we have the Read in 20 Days program that was launched uh, 17 years ago po. Um, and the approach po talaga nung ginawa ito is a face-to-face -face basis. But because of the pandemic and, uh, and, and what had happened last year, we launched our Instant Reader Online Alternative Reinforcement 
which is the online version of the Read in 20 Days program. So from the time we launched it in June 2020, we already have 1,500 uh, students who were able to read po in just 20 days. So ganun na po kadami yan na pabasa natin. We turn non-reader kids into a grade one level reader in just 20 days. So yan po. So um, thinking about our vision, we also launched um, recently a program to help naman po enhance the reading comprehension ng ating mga anak. So we call it the COMPASS uh, or Comprehension Application Sessions. Dito po, uh, because of the comprehensive and intensive reading drills and exercises and fun gamification, gamified na po ang ating program, uh, the children will have an enhanced and comprehensive reading comprehension po. And vocabulary and grammar po kasama na dito. So besides that, since um, Teacher Vicky and the group and, and all the uh, branches of Instant Reader saw the drastic increase in the number of uh, struggling readers, we have also the dyslexia program whereby we assess, we diagnose, and we help in the intervention program of the students. So, kasi po si Teacher Vicky is a dyslexia expert din po. Uh, and the, uh, the instant feeder branches are the intervention centers po of dyslexia. Aside from that, and alongside with this program, we are also spreading awareness about dyslexia. So, we are conducting dyslexia awareness seminars to education sector, educational institutions. We... Uh, we talk uh, organizations um, to spread to spread the awareness of dyslexia, and we also uh, ask assistance. For example, like from PADCOR, we have that uh, partnership with them before. So yun po yung mga programs ng instant leader that could help your struggling leaders to read. Yeah, so I'm very very happy. Thank you, thank you for sharing that um, vision, and you know, um, so it will uh, give awareness awareness to the parents as well and um, I'm really really grateful to interview teacher Shane and teacher Jess and giving me this opportunity to you know uh, to share this moment with you <laughs> okay you so um, yeah um, before we end this um, this interview I would like to ask um, what do you think would be the future of remote learning we know that it's really, really evolving. Mm -hmm. But what do you think would be the future, especially due to the Philippines? Yeah. Who wants can to I answer share, that? Can first? I share first, or or Shane? Uh, yeah, uh -huh. Shane. Uh, yeah, can can you share muna po yung ano yung uh, slide, uh, Teacher Jasmine? Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So my for for my side on that question. So what? Am I thinking about the future of remote learning? Okay, so well, it is true, okay, that we are leading that way because of the demand of time and of what COVID has brought to us. We embrace the remote learning because it's accessible, flexible, and cost efficient. You know? But it is also knowing knowing this, so it is also the high time to maximize the available online platforms and programs that we are having, that we are having now, so we will not be left behind. So fact na po kasi that, yes, we're leading that way. So what we can do is to maximize the time. So so by then, three years from now, we're, we're, this will really be a normal situation because we maximize it already, so we will not be left behind. So that's my Yay. point. Yay. And uh, yeah, do you want to share your screen with your presentation, teacher Jess? Ah, sorry. Ah, do I have or this? Is... Or Shane will be sharing the screen and then I'll just be, uh, I, is, what slide po kaya ito? Anong slide? Do you have, uh, no, uh, yung, yun, na, yun na ba yun, uh, teacher Shane, the one that you, um, so you already have one slide na lang po? Yes, Tama? yes po. Kasi po, the, the services yeah. would be the same. Be the same naman po. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's all Thank good. Thank you for asking. Thank you. Teacher Shane, uh, how about you? What's your thought? Um, ano, um, ano kaya magiging future natin uh, with this uh, remote learning? 
um, di ba po yung remote learning on only um, nag-emerge lang naman po siya kasi di ba has, uh, as an emergency intervention as a result of coronavirus. But I can say for me, uh, remote, remote learning can already be a future of our education. But we cannot move forward in this advancement. Uh, I really agree with, with um, Teacher Jazz. Because unless our education sector is more equipped and we have all the resources to ensure a smoother flow of this new normal, yun po. Uh, that will only be the hindrance kasi for us to move forward. Mm -hmm. If and only if, for me, we have a strong foundation and resources for remote, remote learning, um, it can be the answer we are looking for or we are waiting for to address um, our students' learning gaps and facilitate strong teaching. What I'm trying to say is um, agreeing and, and following up with uh, Ati Jazz, Teacher Jazz, um, comment po about remote learning. Uh, we are going there. We just have to smoothen the, uh, the way towards that. So if, if everything flows um, smoothly, then we will be having um, a good uh, uh, and stronghold of remote, remote learning for the next few years. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Very well said. More? Can I just a little bit more? Yes, yes, teacher, yes, yeah, please. Yeah, yeah. So, papunta na tayo dun eh, but then still para mas maganda yung improvement and development. So, kasi ano na yun eh, tawag dito, different style, di different uh, platform. So, we should empower the teachers by, yeah. by, by, uh, proper and very reputable, uh, should we say, school talaga when it comes to online teaching. Okay, kasi for, for what is happening right now, like like what I've told you po kanina, no, before we start our, our interview is that many teachers are uh, with their mental welfare, no? So they are uh, actually po under stress and depression and anxiety because they cannot, they cannot adapt to this to this yeah, drastic, yeah. yeah, to this drastic uh change that change. we just uh, yeah in a because it's a total reset, total yeah, reset talaga yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. the learning style, the the learning strategies, or sorry, teaching style, teaching strategies are are are, are totally changed because ano na yung online na so I think there should also uh yeah to to empower them is to help them of course mentally, psychologically, and of course, when it comes to, to their skills, so sana ma-empower sila. And, and also with parents. Uh, and, uh, they, they need to be aware that the future is this. Yeah. Diba? And um, if we're not be able to, you know, to, to adapt or to utilize this kind of advancement, it might... Um, you know, uh, my, our children might left behind in terms yeah. of opportunities. Mm -hmm. So, yes, we respect that uh, different children, they do have their own face or they have their own, you know, uh, readiness. But um, we need to be aware as well that this is the future of education. And uh, whether we like it or not, um, we need to be ready. Yeah. That's the reason why we're, we're doing this summit. So you will be informed sa mga developments and uh, the programs that um, end with the organization that uh, currently doing right now. And, and it's really good to uh, connect with people um, who's been doing this for for the longest time. So instant reader, nasa 17 years na, di ba? Approximately. So yeah. So you uh, you already established a brand and you already established that uh, programs already that really works about to, to the kids teaching them how to read. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, before we end this um, this interview, and uh, I just want to thank Teacher Jazz, Teacher Shane, for you know sharing your 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 thoughts, Thanks. sharing your expertise. And sana hindi ka nahirapan sa talong para, pero ang galing-galing yung sumagot. I really love your inputs. I really love um, yung mga chineer nyo kanina. And yeah, and to all our viewers uh, who's watching, um, 
kindly comment then ko ano yung biggest takeaway niyo from this session or from this um, interview with uh, Teacher Shane and Teacher Jazz. And yeah, um, and it's about time for you uh, to invite our viewers, ladies, um, to follow you in your socials and to connect with you uh, para at least kung meron silang mga katanungan or if they want to enroll their kids, saan kayo nila pwedeng mm -hmm. mahanap or saan kayo nila pwedeng mak <laughs> makausap. Mm -hmm. Can you yeah, share your, your, your social yeah. uh, media yeah, thank but you for this opportunity. Yeah. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh, go ahead first muna, um, Sir Jazz. So Instant Reader Bako Orpo, you can message us through um, Facebook and Instagram. We have um, uh, uh, Facebook.com Instant Reader Bako or, and we have Instagram IR under Bako or. And we also have our email, irkabita2017 at gmail.com. So just message us and we will be very um, happy to assist you in regards to your inquiry and concerns for, about your children. So yeah, and teacher Jazz? Yes, for us. Yeah, so you can message us for Instant Reader Batanga. So we have our Facebook page. Um, Instant Reader Batanga City, and you can email us in our uh, Instant Reader Batanga City at gmail.com. So, this is free of charge, of course, and we're always looking forward to chatting with you, messaging you, talking about your child's reading journey, and we also po give them give them ano kasi, uh, parang free consultation just by chatting with us. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you thank so you much, a teacher thank Jasmine you. and teacher Shane. Thank you. It's a very fruitful thank you. day uh, to interview two lovely ladies na nakaka, ano, nakakatawa na makita at makausap and, uh, you know, uh, sharing the same um, same thoughts or sharing the same vision. Na syempre making making uh, learning as enjoyable as much as possible, di ba? Yeah, and to all our viewers, thank you so much for watching. Uh, and I hope I can we can we can still see you in our future um, future events. And um, can you check our um, our event section because we do have uh, the list of um, the list of speakers and topics that we will uh, already scheduled uh, for you guys. So yeah. And, and uh, I hope you can follow us as well. We have Instagram and um, Facebook and uh, LinkedIn. So just follow Remote uh, Classroom Philippines. And yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank you, thank you Teacher Jazz. Thank you, Teacher Shane, for, for this opportunity na ma-interview po kayo tonight. God thank bless you. Thank you. Salamat. I'll see you thank soon. You Bye. Thank you.